In this video, we're going to be talking about how to change the color of a white object to black. Now here's the thing, swapping colors between red, greens, yellows and blues is easy. Also changing those colors to white and black is possible to an extent. But changing the color of a white object to black or vice versa is something that you really need to think about and is really challenging. But we're going to attempt that in this video and it's possible. But there are certain precautions and limitations that we have to take care of. So today I'm going to show you two or three examples of how it works or not works in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and we have a stock photo of a white car. So before we begin talking about the first precaution, you really need to have a really good selection before you change the color from white to black. It's necessary that we go ahead and select the white areas. Okay. So you can use any selection tool to do that. But in this case, I would use a quick selection tool. Okay. So I'll just zoom in and quickly select the areas of the car. Also, what you can do, you can use select and mask. That's going to give you a better selection really quickly. Let's do select and mask. So select any selection tool, be it lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool, anything, any selection tool and click on this select and mask. The select and mask dialog box will appear. By default, it's in onion skin. Change it to on black. Because we are selecting a white object, it would be easy for us to figure out the selection in black background. So now, as you can see, the opacity is 63%. If it's 100%, it goes completely black and it shows only those areas which are selected. In this case, we have not selected any area. That's why it is completely black. Okay. Keep the opacity somewhere around 52. It's okay. Now select the quick selection tool and start selecting the areas of the car. So there you go. Let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Now, guys, I really want you to have patience while you select these areas, because if you miss even one pixel or if you select extra pixel, it's, you're going to see it. You're going to see a black boundary or a white boundary and you don't want that to happen, right? So make sure your selection is really, really perfect. I'm really doing it quickly, but I want you to take your time and do it perfectly. Okay. There you go. Don't leave any corners. Okay. Now this has done a pretty good selection. There's a little bit in the bottom that we need to cover here. We need to cover a little bit, a little bit here. You select the extras, but that's okay. We can solve that. Okay. There you go. Now this is a pretty good selection to begin with. We can subtract the areas that we don't want. There you go. We don't want the headlights to be selected, do we? No, we don't. Okay, great. Awesome. Now let's zoom out and let's look at the selection. How the selection is. Selection is pretty clean. Let's increase the opacity. Yes, there are a couple of places that we need to clean up, but that's okay. You understand it, right? You take your time. Let's clean it up. Let's just add this area. Not an awesome job, but that's pretty much fine. Now, once you're satisfied with the selection, scroll down and make sure that you have the output set to selection and then click OK. OK. Now create a new layer called curves. OK. If you want to refine the selection, you can, but I'm going to go with it. OK. Take the curves, click on, double click on this one. Take this point to the right, all the way to the right. Watch. It goes black. Now, if you want to have less of a shine, you can take it down. This becomes, this makes it gray, but it's okay to have a lot of shine because black cars have a lot of shine. Now, I think this value is good. Okay. Once you're satisfied with this, close it. Now, here's the thing. White things are not completely white. There are reflections of blue, maybe reflections of green in the background. Okay. So when you give this effect, have a look. This has turned a little blue, a little yellow somewhere, a little green somewhere. So we don't want to affect the color through curves. And whenever you're working with curves and you don't want to affect the colors, you always have to change the blend mode to luminosity. Watch this turns me. This makes it gray. Now this is cool. Now, uh, if you want to recover some of the 
dimensions back in. Have a look, if I turn this off, there was this dimension that's completely gone. And there are a couple of shapes that have lost its detail. So you cannot completely recover it, but there's a certain extent to which you can. Right click on it and go to blending options. Now. In blending options, you can always take this slider of the underlying layer from left to right just a bit. Now this is too much, you can make it smooth, press and hold alter option, click on it and this makes it smooth, you can take this, not too much. Now what it does is that it removes the effect from dark areas of the underlying layer. What is the underlying layer? The car layer, okay? So this underlying layer, there you go, you understand that, right? Okay, now once you're satisfied, you can always go ahead and click OK. Now this is looking pretty nice, but here's the thing. You can see this funky thing happening right here. Watch this funky coloring thing happening. So uh, if you are making something black, why not make it black and white, that certain area? So you can do that. There's an extra step there. So create an adjustment layer, select the layer of the car, not the curves one, and then create an adjustment layer so that we have that layer between the curves and the car. Okay, select that and black white, okay? Now this makes everything black and white and we want black and white only in this area. So we would copy this mask and paste it here. How to do that? Press and hold alter option and drag it and drop it here. Now it says replace layer mask. Yes, let's do it. That funky thing is now gone. Watch. That coloring thing, it's now gone. It's pretty fine. Let's look at the before and after. Before, this funky thing, after. It's much cleaner, better. It really looks awesome, doesn't it? So let's quickly look at the before and after. To do that, press and hold controller command and click on both of these. Select both of these. Press controller command G. And this is the before. This is the after. Now here's the precaution number two. Precaution number one was having the right selection. Precise selection. Precaution number two. Make sure that your image is of very high quality. Now here's what I mean. If I zoom in quite a bit, now this image was fairly good in quality, but if I zoom in, you can see the pixels really pixelating. It, it's chopping off. So if I go ahead, if I go further with the curves, Let's, oops, what's happening, I don't know. Let's open up the curves, the properties, and in, just take this ladder a little bit to the right and watch what's happening. It's not looking great. The pixels are pixelating. So, let's go back. You need to have a really good image. By good image, I mean high resolution, high color depth. If your image is raw, better than good and better than most. So, it's better to apply this effect if you have a raw image, otherwise the pixels will pixelate. What if you want to change the color of something like a shirt from black to white? Now let me sh really show you what pixelating really does to this, okay? So we'll do the same thing, we'll quickly select a shirt, I'm not gonna do a super great job of doing this, so select and mask and let let's quickly do that. This time we'll do this on white, okay? So black thing on white, really quickly selected this and really quickly refine the selections. There you go. It's uh, okay job. Click okay. Now, the selection is in place. Now we'll create a curves adjustment layer. Okay. There you go. Curves adjustment layer. And this time, we'll do just the opposite. Take this ladder from the left to right until it goes white. Now this is okay, but the darks are totally dark. This is great. We can take this a little up. There you go. Now change the blend mode from normal to luminosity. If you look at it from a distance, it's looking great, but if you zoom in, the pixels are really going to jump out of the photo. It's really pixelating. Oh, look at the quality. This is the before, this is the after. The pixels are totally off. So you really need to make sure raw image, high resolution. So let's jump into our next image, which you might have seen previously in my previous tutorials, which is a raw photo and submitted by Andres Vargas, our favorite photographer. All right. So she's wearing a black scarf, so we might want to change it to white. So uh, making a selection here is going to be really difficult. Let's look at the differences. It's totally black. Her hair is a little dark. It's going to be dif difficult. So to make the selection easier, what you can do, here's the tip. Pro tip, create a curves or a levels adjustment layer and take the slider from left to right of this one. 
This makes the darks a little brighter and makes us clearly see the differences and so Photoshop will be able to see the differences a little better. So let's close it, it really doesn't matter, we can always throw it off after we have made the selection. Now select back the background layer and uh, select any selection tool, select and mask. Now this time since you are using the levels as a reference, so you might want to make sure that sample all layers is checked. And you can change this to on white is fine and opacities this much is great. All right, so let's go ahead and quickly select those areas with the quick selection tool. Now this is selecting the face also. We can always subtract from it, press and hold alter option and just subtract the face from it. We don't want the face to be selected. We don't, we neither want the hair to be selected. You can take your time to do this. I'm doing it really quickly. We want this area back. You want this area back. There you go. Not a perfect selection, but you get the idea, right? Okay, so we just don't want this area too. You can always go ahead and refine the selection using this. So once you're done and satisfied, all you have to do, you have to scroll down and make sure the output is set to selection and click OK. Okay, and now we don't need the levels anymore. That was just for reference. You can turn it off and throw it off or throw it off. Okay, we would throw it off. And next thing, the same thing. Add a curves adjustment layer and this time we need to take this point from right to left. Watch. This is fine. This level is fine. And take it a little above. There you go. And change the blend mode from normal to luminosity. Watch. The pixels are not jumping out. The pixels are not choppy. It's not pixelating. Why? Because number one, the image is a raw image. Number two, it's a 16-bit image, very high quality. It's a high resolution image, okay? So make sure you follow your image follows that criteria if you are doing such kind of a drastic change, all right? Of course, you need to make her face, face brighter separately. Now, once you have a perfect selection, what you can do, you can add another curves, okay? and copy the mask to that one, press and hold alter option and drag it and copy it to that one and invert the mask, okay? And now you can, to invert the mask, control or command I, now, and now you can brighten up the face and other areas that were not in that selection, okay? Increase the contrast or do something like that, okay? Now you can change this from normal to luminosity also if you don't want it to affect the colors. And there you go, that's how you do it. I know this is looking very, very off, but you make a perfect selection. So that's all for this video. I'm really sweating. It's really hot here right now. 42 degrees maybe. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks a lot for watching. And if this video helped you, make sure to give us a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.